The other fact we need is given by the following theorem, which is proved in more advanced courses. It says that the general solution is a linear combination of two linearly independent solutions, y sub 1 and y sub 2. This means that neither y sub 1 nor y sub 2 is a constant multiple of the other. For instance, the functions f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 5x squared are linearly dependent, but f of x equals e to the power x and g of x equals x times e to the power x are linear, linearly independent. Equation 4 is the theorem. If y sub 1 and y sub 2 are linearly independent solutions of equation 2 on an interval and big P of x is never 0, then the general solution is given by y of x equals c sub 1 times y sub 1 of x plus c sub 2 times y sub 2 of x, where c sub 1 and c sub 2 are arbitrary constants. Theorem 4 is very useful because it says that if we know two particular linearly independent solutions, then we know every solution. In general, it's not easy to discover particular solutions to a second order linear equation, but it's always possible to do so if the coefficient functions, uh, capitals P, Q, and R, are constant functions. That is, if the differential equation has the form equation 5 a times the second derivative of y plus b times the first derivative of y plus c times y equals 0 where a, b, and c are constants and a does not equal to 0. It's not hard to think of some likely candidates for particular solutions of equation 5 if we state the equation verbally. We are looking for a function y such that a constant times its second derivative y double prime plus another constant times y prime plus a third constant times y is equal to zero. We know that we know that the exponential function y equals e to the power r x where r is a constant has the property that its derivative is a constant multiple of itself y prime equals r times e to the power r x furthermore y double prime equals r squared times e to the power r x if we substitute these expressions into equation 5 we see that y equals e to the power r x is a solution if a times r squared times e to the power x plus b times r times e to the power r x plus c times e to the power r x equals zero or open a r squared plus b r plus c close times e to the power r x equals zero but e to the power r x is never zero thus y equals e to the power r x is a solution of equation five if r is a root of the equation equation six a times r squared plus b times r plus c equals zero. Um, equation six is called the auxiliary equation or characteristic equation of the differential equation a times y double prime plus b times y prime plus c sub y equals zero. Notice that it is an algebraic equation that is obtained from the differential equation by replacing uh, y double prime by r squared and y prime by r and y by 1. Sometimes the roots r sub 1 and r sub 2 
of the auxiliary equation can be found by factoring. In other cases, they are found by using the quadratic formula. Equation 7, big R sub 1 equals negative B plus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. And R sub 2 equals negative B minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. We distinguish three cases according to the sign of the discriminant B squared minus 4AC.